Myanmar's army will start recruiting its first batch of 5,000 civilian soldiers in the coming months, the first time in the country's history. The details come days after the army enforced a dormant enlistment law, which analysts say that could lead to a brain drain and escalated violence. Long Wai Kid reports. Plans are underway to beef up troop numbers in Myanmar. On February 10th, the Myanmar army enforced a law requiring eligible civilians to serve at least two years in the military. Section 385 of the Constitution emphasizes that every citizen has the duty to safeguard independence, sovereignty and territorial integrity of the Republic of the Union of Myanmar. Myanmar's conscription law was first introduced in 1959, but it was never rolled out until now. Analysts say the army's latest move was triggered by a major offensive against them last year. On October 27th, a trio of powerful ethnic armies launched coordinated attacks against the Myanmar military, catching them off guard. They are losing a lot of territories uh, because uh, one of the major issues was, number one, they don't have the reserve force. Number two, they could not recruit new soldiers. The Myanmar army has not spelled out a firm timeline for recruitment. But its first batch will include 5,000 young men. Young women will be recruited only in the fifth batch. The military aims to enlist some 60,000 civilian soldiers in a year. Men between 18 and 35 years old, as well as women between 18 and 27 years old, can be called up for service. Now, the medium age of Myanmar's 55 million people is around 29. The enforcement of the enlistment law and its current lack of detail have sparked worries among young citizens. So a lot of these people are now thinking about leaving the country. So the country is going to face a major face of brain drain, you know, driven by this law, unless the authorities, the SEC, the military, clarify how they're going to recruit it. The Myanmar army says those studying or working outside of Myanmar may be exempt from being enlisted. Sources say in the meantime, the authorities have stopped issuing documents to some civilians who are applying to work overseas. Now that's seen as a move to prevent youths from fleeing the country to escape conscription. Though this enlistment law is seen as part of Myanmar's domestic affairs, Dr Min Zhou says ASEAN has reason to be concerned. But what can be the triggering point from the RCM is number one, how the recruitment turn into disaster. And number two, the violence. So the recruitment means there's going to be more fighting. So there will be more violence coming up. Dr. Min Zhou says ASEAN in the meantime should continue pushing the Myanmar army to roll out an agreed peace plan known as the Five Point Consensus. He adds this is the right approach to get the army to end violence in the country. The opposition National Unity Government has slammed the Myanmar Army's enlistment move, claiming the military is desperate after losing ground on the battlefield. Leung Market, CNA.